on his great show called Comedy on the Farm. Please welcome to the stage a Mr. Thomas Henry. Hi guys. Uh, nice hey. to hello, hello. Nice to see everybody. Uh, glad uh, glad Mark was before me. It's always nice to have a fellow member of the Commonwealth. Um, <laughs> Uh, someone who has appropriate uh, respect for Liz, Liz, Liz and the family. Now that you guys, have, <laughs> now that you guys have stolen Harry, I, 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 I can't believe he. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it, just like today, he announced that he was now uh, uh, working at a startup, which I think is why. <clears throat> yeah, 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 it's true. He just announced it today, which is why I think Prince Harry resonates so much with young people. He's unemployed, claiming he works at a startup. <laughs> 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 That's why, that's why a generation of kids is like, yes, he's our guy. Um, <laughs> Mark, you're you're an insanely likable character. Uh, I feel like I feel like me and Mark look like we could have met at the same how to get out the friend zone class. <laughs> 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 I also, also love the fact that you were like, I don't have bars on the windows. I'm uh, I'm not in prison, and <laughs> you just like. Breeze, breeze past it like it like it wasn't an option for you, but like <laughs> I don't think you, I, I, I don't think you did too well in prison, pal. <laughs> I, don't think, no. I, I, I don't think washing would be in your future in prison. <laughs> um, Brett's uh, Brett, Brett's profile picture has been been baffling me the whole way through. I was I was going to say that you looked a little bit like. You finished your last half marathon, but were before your next mass shooting. But then I saw <laughs> <laughs> shooting was saw... two years later. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I mean, some, some of you still wore the glasses. That's fine. But, <laughs> yeah. but I, but I saw the bomb. Chat... Sorry, not a shooting a bomb. <laughs> well, you, well you, you you just ruined my next punchline. But uh -oh. um... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Because she said in the chat it was taken in Boston ten years ago, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> 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 he's the one they never found. He was too." <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Probably would have finished before the bomb. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> 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 you you were, you were in the learning annex next to me and Mark. We were taking the how to get out of the friend zone class. You are how to light a fuse in one hour. <laughs> That's what you were doing. Uh, good to know. Putting our time to good use. Um, I think uh, I think Caitlin, Caitlin was absolutely right about the baby crazy thing. I'm in my mid thirties. It happened to me. I went. I got like baby crazy. Mm -hmm. um, which I think it's an interesting double standard because when, when women say that, people are like, oh, but when you look like both a Catholic priest and the boy he molested, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> people are just like, that's a countdown till there's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> somebody somebody leave, leave his semen in the trash. That's fine. Um, <laughs> Um, I think uh, I think I feel sorry for the guy, but President Biden falling up the stairs is one of the funniest things I've seen in a long. Also, think it was incredibly um, generous of him to create an image that perfectly encapsulates his rise to power. Just falling, <laughs> <laughs> just falling up stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it honestly, it, it really doesn't matter which way you stand politically. I, I, I think everyone's entitled to their opinion, but uh, it must be nice for you guys that Biden won the election and America gets a four-year break from being the world's Florida. You can live with that one. Uh, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think Victor made a really, really good point earlier. I agree with you, buddy. There are no hot people in comedy. I think that's a... That's a well... <laughs> Uh, like Isabel, I could, yeah, <laughs> I, I, could, I love the look on Isabel's face. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, bonnets, bonnets aside, obviously. I mean, we haven't, <laughs> no one's, no one's accounted for a bonnet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and as a, as a, as a British guy, if anyone appreciates a good bonnet, <laughs> <laughs> you know, my kink is Pride and Prejudice. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's true. Like, uh, like uh, I think I don't know. 
I could I, I, I could maybe be an eight, but I'm five foot seven, so you cut that in half. I'm a I'm a I'm a four. That's uh, uh. that's just that's just the rule that's just the rule of height. Um <laughs> I think it's I think it's interesting that like that's the one thing a guy isn't allowed to be is short. That's like the worst crime a guy can mm. commit. Like women will put up with like selfishness, laziness, leaving a toilet seat up. But like if you can't reach a toilet seat <laughs> <laughs> um, in case anyone's wondering if that's autobiographical, I can reach a toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh I will sometimes struggle with a high set urinal, um, <laughs> which can be embarrassing. Um, not as embarrassing as using the kids' urinal. Um, <laughs> only, only sometimes. Like, the, like the men's room has to be like really crowded, because um, then you, you look like a, a good guy for like helping the line move. You know, and you see the empty <laughs> urinal. You're like, Oh no, I'm gonna have to use the only empty urinal that fits my height perfectly and gets me out of here faster. Oh, <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> okay, that one, that one can get strengthened up a little bit. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Um, I think, uh, yeah, getting, getting older, um, which, feels, which feels ridiculous to say at 36, but I used, I, used, I used to work in advertising. That was like fucking Logan's run. Like he gets like twenty four, people are like, "Nah, get out of here! You, uh, you no good. You no good. You know nothing about anything." Um, <laughs> which is that's a horrible situation to be in. To be, to be in a meeting where uh, a a twenty three year old person is telling you that all your choices to this point were null and void. Um, that's more that's more of a therapy point, I feel. <laughs> but um, <laughs> so terrible. So yeah, something maybe I can bring into future sessions. But um, yeah, things start to break. Like I got, uh, I got, I got betrayed um, recently by my right testicle. Um, <laughs> it was, it was, yeah, it was horrific. Like uh, I was just out exercising one day after hour for a run, uh, doing a really fast run, and uh, the old fellow just like shot up inside my body. Uh, didn't 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 know what to do, and uh, I spoke. Yeah, you know, went to the doctor, and uh, they call it a retractile problem. Um, mm. I just think I just think the little guy hates cardio. <laughs> <laughs> a jog around the park, you're having a laughing, you've got a Big Mac on the way from Uber Eats, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when, when, like, when, when the doctor told me I needed surgery, I asked him if it was a, uh, a, a routine operation. And he said, yes, yes, it's fine. And I do them all the time on kids. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> So what? Like, no, 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 I don't mean anything by it. I'm just unusual to find this kind of thing in someone over the age of 12. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. That is the correct response. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just, I mean just, to, just to confirm, I do not have a 12-year-old's penis. <laughs> <laughs> either, either on my person or held hostage somewhere. <laughs> oh, no. Because <laughs> that kid told me he was 18. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my penis my penis is exactly like me it's not the biggest but it's eager to please and makes a great martini <laughs> <laughs> his name, and his name's Thomas <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we're, doing, we're, doing, we're in, the, in there for the surgery right and this guy, um, he was explaining to me, like, really, really confident. You know, doctors are really confident. Slash this, hack that, it's going to be fine. And then he picks out a giant Sharpie and draws on the leg that they're going to have the operation on. He looks, uh. at me, he looks at me and just goes, it's in case I snip the wrong one. Happens more than you think. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean more? Like... <laughs> There is no circumstance in which that is okay. Like there is no percentage in which that is fine. So mm -hmm. then, the, then the anesthesiologist um, comes in afterwards after the surgeon's left, and he goes, uh, "Oh, Mr. Henry, I see we're here to remove your right testicle." <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if there is a soul. I don't know if it can leave your body in times of distress. <laughs> but if that is true, mine would have been in the Bahamas with both my nudges. 
Um, I think that's, that'll, probably, that'll probably do for me tonight, guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.